and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved ones today is 19th day of March, being Friday, and we fall of Lent, year B of the church calendar. Today, the modern church celebrates the solemnity of St. Joseph, the spouse of our blessed Virgin Mary. I read this will be coming from 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 4 to 5, verse 4, 12 to 14, and verse 16. Our response to the will come from Psalm 89, verse 70a. Our second reading will come from the Thomas and Paul to the Romans chapter 4, verse 13, verse 16 to 18, and 22. Our gospel message will come from Matthew Gospel chapter 1. Verse 16, verse 18 to 21, and verse 24. The theme of our message today is to discard our own will to do the will of God. Discarding our own will to do the will of God. And when we discard our own will to do the will of God, it thrusts extra blessing upon us. That's obedience to God. That's faith in God. Discarding your own will to do the will of God. And that way today, you can see the example of people who discard their will and God followed them to do the will of God. Example is first reading today from 2 Samuel chapter 7. Queen David wanted to build a house for the Lord. And prophet Nathan was sent by God to tell him, look, you are on our spring, we build me a house. And thus said the Lord, when you have died, and gone to your fathers. Your offspring will build me a house. And I will establish a throne forever. This promise was made to David. And his daughter's son that will build him a house. And he will never abandon him. He will be his own. And will be, God will be, will be his, he will be his God. And he will be his son. And he will build him that house. He will establish his kingdom forever. So the throne of the throne will not leave the house of David. That's what it implies. And your kingdom will make sure before me. Your throne shall be established forever. This is a promise made to David. David had to discard his own will of building the house and allow the house to be built his own son. And because of accepting that, God promised him that he will establish the throne of the kingdom of his son forever. And the kingdom will be in the house, the throne will be in the house of David forever. Accept him to discard his way to do the will of God. And that's another example today. We are giving an example of Abraham. God made a promise to Abraham and his descendants that he will be father of nations. This was not given to him by keeping the law, but by having faith in God. And that way Abraham is counted, that is counted for Abraham as righteousness. For believing God. And now why God had made it that all descendants of Abraham will assess this true grace in faith in God. And that will be their righteousness. And Abraham, for Abraham, he believed hope against hope. That God can give life to the dead and can establish something for nothing. 
that was the faith of Abraham towards God. And that's why he left everything he knew to follow the way he didn't know. Following the word of God. And that's why he was established as the father of nations with his descendants. Be a father of so many nations. And that was fulfilled for him. And that's why today in the gospel message, Joseph, we are celebrating today. Married Mary, or betrothed to Mary. Before they could come together, Mary was the child under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And Joseph didn't know this. And as a gentle person, he doesn't want to bring shame to the girl. She decided on her, herself to send her back in secret. She had made, he had made up his mind to do that. When the angel of God came to him in a dream and said, Joseph, take Mary, your wife. She's conceived by the Holy Spirit. I was born a son because Jesus, he will redeem his people from all their shackles of sins. And he will rule the house of Jacob forever. And when, jo jo when Joseph had this dream, when he got up in the morning, he took, went and took his wife back. He's guiding his own way, now doing the will of God. And because today, Joseph became a special blessed person, given the privilege to look after the Son of God. And that's why his devotion on him was, went through wide all over the world. Day to day. And that's why the church celebrated him as a solemnity. Joseph, the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So discarding our way to do the will of God, that's lies our blessings. That's like our ego. That lies our prestige. That lies our, our beauty in God. If we're able to discard your way to do the will of God, you are blessed. You are saved. You have risen to life. You will be set apart in the eyes of God. And but that's what is lacking in many of us. That many of us cannot do it. And because he has done this, and when you have decided your way to do the will of God, what the psalmist said today, is, and those promises made to David, made to Abraham, will be your own. His descendants shall Continue forever. You have done that, you have said that will continue forever. The kingdom of God will be in your house forever. And your throne will be established forever as they promised to David. And you will be the father of nations, I promised to Abraham. And will be the father, the host father of our Lord Jesus Christ, like Joseph. May God help all of us to understand today, I will celebrate St. Joseph, that I will talk about Joseph, remember that to discard our will and do the will of God is the best that can happen to us in our lives. And that makes us being obedient to God and make us show our faith in God. And that's why God will establish you forever and make you father of nations. And you make you to establish kingdoms. May God help us to understand this message today that this cardinal our way to do the will of God lies our blessings and the fulfillment of God's plans in our lives. May God help us to attend this purpose today through Christ our Lord. May the blessings of Almighty God as given to Joseph, given to David and Abraham be upon all of us as we discard our will to do the will of God among the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. I'm